Hello guys, this is Marks from HighOnAndroid.com where we get <laughs> on Android. Even Jake gets high on Android. <laughs> and if somebody was asking me the other day, Hi Mox, I don't like custom ROMs because you have to have root. Or something like, Max, custom ROM not secure. I don't like it, rooting. Well, you know what guys, rooting and custom ROMs are completely Two separate things. Two separate things. Two separate things. Really, Max? Oh yeah, Jake. Custom ROMs and routing are entirely different things, guys. Routing just basically means that you're installing Super SU Majisk root, and you're getting Super User or root admin access. That means you just have complete control over your operating system. Now, if you want to use a custom ROM, you don't have to root. In fact, you can simply unlock the bootloader, flash your favorite custom ROM, and boom. You don't have to use Majisk. Just hide to hide your apps, hide your wife, hide your mistress, all that crap. So you can actually run a custom ROM without root if you want to and enjoy all the benefits what a custom ROM brings you. For example, 99% of my phones have a custom ROM. I have a carbon ROM and I've got Havoc ROM running on my Pixel 4 and OnePlus 8 Pro. Now this one is rooted, this one is not. Personally, I don't actually use root much, so I don't actually need root. Now a lot of root instructions begin with an instruction on how to root and then followed by custom ROM. So people get it confused that rooting and Android ROMs are the same thing. In fact, they're not. Look at this cute puppies. So don't get the wrong idea that rooting has anything to do with custom ROMs. Custom ROMs just mean a customized operating system. Root just means you have admin access. Don't get two of these messed up. I've got these people like, Oh Mox, I can't use custom ROMs because it won't work on bonking ops. Even Magisk High does not work. So now you know that you don't have to root. You can enjoy all of the benefits of a custom ROM without root. Now, both rooting and both custom ROMs require to unlock the bootloader. That's the only thing they have in common. Custom ROMs is a custom software. Rooting just gives you admin access. You can have root on stock firmware. You can have root on custom firmware. The, the reason why I use custom ROMs because it's more secure. The reason why it's more secure is because less people in the world are using it. For example, when we had that Apple hack where you could send that special Indian character and send it to an iPhone, it would shut your iPhone down. Now, had you had a custom ROM on your phone, you would have not been affected. Yet, this hack caused every iPhone to shut down if somebody sent you this Indian character. Do you now see how custom ROMs are more secure? The way hackers think, I know because I'm a hacker, a good hacker, a good ethical hacker, that if I'm gonna hack phones, I'm gonna make an automated script that's gonna try everything on the stock firmware, not the custom ROMs. So that's another reason I use a custom ROM because it's way more secure. It's gonna be a lot harder for hackers to figure out what the operating system you're even using. Like on some of my custom ROMs, when I look up on the device manager, look at all these phones. So I've got a OnePlus a, a 5T, I've got a OnePlus 5, I've got a Google Pixel 3 XL. Look. <laughs> My phone that has a Havoc ROM installed, it just shows up as unknown PH H treble vanilla. This is what I'm talking about. People won't even know what phone you're using because it's all, it's a custom ROM. Um, and a lot of tech writers are writing, do we still need root in 2020? It's up to you, maybe you need it. You need it for hacking your games. One of the biggest things that's used for root is getting your Bluetooth remote to work flawless or using a game hack to cheat a game. If you have that special purpose, root is very good, but it has nothing to do with custom ROMs. If you want to have a better performance, better battery life, have a more secure phone, you can install a custom ROM, but it has nothing to do with root. So do we need custom ROMs in 2020? Oh hell yeah baby, I run custom ROMs on all my phones. Anything that has an unlock bootloader in my house will have a custom ROM. Here's an example, I buy a Xiaomi phone, I hate my UI, but I love their hardware, I love their prices, and I love that you can unlock the bootloader and install a plain vanilla pure Android and make it run faster, I don't have all that bloatware, I don't need to deal with my UI bloatware, it's great. This allows me to buy a cheap phone and make it run fast as it can without all the additives. 
problem with stock firmware, especially like Samsung, LG, is that they add on so much stuff, especially Samsung. You got like Gear of Your software taking space up in there. You got Gear Watch. If you don't use any of these Samsung products, they are completely useless and they're built into your operating system. How would you like to pull all that stuff out and run a really efficient, fast operating system? That's what custom ROMs do. It has nothing to do with rooting. Anyway, I know a lot of you who have had custom ROMs, you swear by it, I swear by it. If you have not tried custom ROMs, definitely try it out. If you do want to have custom ROMs, avoid phones with locked bootloaders. That means all US models of Samsung phones. That means all US models of LG phones. However, all Korean models, all European models of both Samsung and LG will work. All right, and that's where the GSI comes in because the Samsung and the LG custom development is dead. Um, now with the newer phones, you can still get the GSI images, get your own custom ROM running on the LG or Samsung. Of course, the best phones for custom ROMs for compatibility are the Pixel phones, OnePlus phones, and Xiaomi phones. Remember that. If you want really good custom ROMs, go with Pixel phones, Sh Xiaomi phones, and OnePlus phones. Anyway, that's it for today. Hit the thumbs up. I'll see you guys on the next one. As always, Where's my phone? Why did I just do that? <sighs> Too many damn phones.